This presentation explores the transcendental argument for God, or TAG as it's commonly known, which is a central component of Christian presuppositional apologetics, particularly as developed by Cornelius Van Til and Greg Bonson. TAG argues that the Christian God is the necessary precondition for the intelligibility of human experience, including logic, morality, and science. By examining this argument, we will uncover how Christian presuppositional apologetics critiques non-Christian worldviews, demonstrating their inability to provide a coherent foundation for these aspects of reality. Furthermore, we will delve into the philosophical foundations of TAG, which seek to uncover the necessary conditions for experience and knowledge. We will also consider the unique strengths of the Christian worldview in providing a consistent and comprehensive explanation of reality and how this sets it apart from other worldviews. The goal of this presentation is to offer a robust defense of the Christian faith showing that without the triune God, intelligibility itself would be impossible. Christian presuppositional apologetics is built on the recognition that every worldview starts with certain presuppositions, fundamental beliefs that are assumed rather than proven. These presuppositions act as the lens through which we interpret all evidence and experience for the Christian the key presupposition is the existence of the triune God, who is not only the creator of all things, but also the foundation for all knowledge, truth, and morality. Unlike other worldviews, which often struggle to provide a basis for these presuppositions, the Christian worldview offers a unique, consistent, and comprehensive explanation of reality. This approach to apologetics challenges the validity of non-Christian worldviews by exposing the inconsistency and arbitrariness of their presuppositions. It argues that without the Christian God, these worldviews cannot adequately account for the preconditions necessary for intelligibility, such as the laws of logic, the existence of moral absolutes, and the uniformity of nature. In doing so, presuppositional apologetics demonstrates that only the Christian worldview can make sense of the world we experience, leading to the conclusion that the Christian God is the necessary foundation for all rational thought and moral understanding. The core thesis of Christian presuppositional apologetics is that the Christian God is the necessary foundation for all intelligibility in human experience, encompassing logic, morality, and science. This means that without the presupposition of God's existence, these aspects of reality would lack a coherent basis, leading to inconsistency and irrationality. Presuppositionalists argue that all other worldviews, whether secular or religious, fail to provide a sufficient foundation for these essential elements of human experience, ultimately collapsing into self-contradiction or absurdity. By examining and critiquing these alternative worldviews, presuppositional apologetics demonstrates their inadequacies and highlights the coherence and consistency of the Christian worldview. This approach asserts that the Christian God is not just one possible explanation among many, but is the only viable foundation for understanding the world. The transcendental argument for God thus serves as a powerful tool for defending the Christian faith, showing that belief in God is not merely a matter of preference or tradition, but is logically necessary for the intelligibility of human experience. Every worldview, whether religious or secular, is built on certain presuppositions, basic beliefs that are assumed rather than proven. These presuppositions shape how we interpret the world, understand truth, and make sense of our experiences. The Christian worldview is grounded in the presupposition that the triune God exists 
and that he is the source of all truth, morality, and order in the universe. This presupposition is not arbitrary or unfounded. Rather, it is the only foundation that produces a coherent and consistent explanation of reality. Presuppositional apologetics challenges the presuppositions of non-Christian worldviews by exposing their internal inconsistencies and demonstrating that they cannot provide a satisfactory account of the preconditions necessary for intelligibility. For example, a materialistic worldview which denies the existence of anything beyond the physical world cannot account for the immaterial laws of logic or the existence of moral absolutes. By contrast, the Christian worldview, with its presupposition of a sovereign, omniscient God, offers a consistent and rational framework that makes sense of all aspects of human experience, from logic and morality to scientific inquiry. The transcendental argument for God is structured around a logical framework. If we have intelligibility, then God exists. This is because intelligibility, or our ability to make sense of the world, reason logically, and discern moral truths, requires a foundation that is absolute, unchanging, and universal. The Christian God is this necessary foundation. The second premise of the argument is that we do, in fact, have intelligibility. We experience and rely on logic, morality, and science every day, which demonstrates that these aspects of human experience are real and meaningful. Given these premises, the conclusion follows that God exists. Without God, intelligibility itself would be impossible. The argument challenges the adequacy of non-theistic worldviews, which fail to account for the necessary conditions for intelligibility. By asserting that the Christian God is the foundation for all rational thought and experience, TAG provides a compelling case for the necessity of theism. It moves beyond traditional arguments for God's existence by focusing not just on what exists, but what must be true for anything to make sense at all. Presuppositional apologetics argues that non-Christian worldviews are not merely alternative perspectives, but are fundamentally flawed because they fail to provide a coherent basis for the preconditions of intelligibility. For instance, materialism reduces all reality to physical processes, but cannot explain the immaterial nature of logic, the universality of moral principles, or the reliability of scientific laws. Similarly, relativism denies the existence of objective truth, leading to self-contradiction. If all truth is relative, then the claim all truth is relative is itself relative, rendering it meaningless. Pantheism, which blurs the distinction between creator and creation, leads to incoherence in understanding the nature of reality and the basis for objective moral values. By critiquing these and other non-Christian worldviews, presuppositional apologetics demonstrates their internal contradictions and shows that they ultimately lead to rationality. We argue that without the Christian God, these worldviews collapse into self-defeat because they cannot provide a consistent and rational framework for understanding reality. The impossibility of the contrary is thus a powerful defense of the necessity of the Christian worldview. A common objection to the transcendental argument for God is that it appears circular, as it seems to assume the existence of God in order to prove it. However, presuppositionalists argue that this type of reasoning is not fallacious, but transcendental. A transcendental argument seeks to demonstrate that the conclusion God's existence is a necessary precondition for the premises. Well, intelligibility. In this sense, tag is not merely asserting God's existence, but is arguing that without God, 
the very concepts of logic, morality, and science would be incoherent. This form of reasoning is different from simple circularity and is a valid and powerful method of argumentation. Furthermore, the Christian doctrine of the Trinity offers a unique solution to the philosophical problem of the one and the many, the relationship between unity and diversity in the world. The Trinity, where God is one in essence but three in persons, provides a model for understanding both unity and diversity in creation. This is something that other worldviews including monotheistic and polytheistic systems, struggle to account for. Additionally, the Christian narrative of divine revelation, particularly as expressed in scripture, offers a coherent and historically grounded explanation of reality that sets Christianity apart from other religions and philosophical traditions. The Christian worldview offers a uniquely coherent and consistent foundation for understanding the world particularly in areas such as logic, morality, and science. The laws of logic, for example, are not arbitrary human conventions, but reflect the consistent and unchanging nature of God's mind. Logic is universal, necessary, and immaterial. Qualities that are fully accounted for within the Christian framework. Similarly, moral values are grounded in the character of God who is the ultimate standard of goodness. This provides a foundation for objective moral truths, which are consistent and applicable to all people at all times. Scientific inquiry, too, is deeply rooted in the Christian worldview. The belief that the universe is orderly and governed by consistent laws is a reflection of God's internal design. This belief has historically driven scientific exploration and discovery as scientists operate under the assumption that the world is knowable and that its patterns can be understood. Furthermore, Christianity posits that God has revealed himself through nature, general revelation, scripture, special revelation, and the person of Jesus Christ. These revelations provide a complete and coherent explanation of reality that not only makes sense of our experiences, but also guides our understanding of the world and our place within it. The Christian worldview offers a compelling resolution to the philosophical problem of the one and many, which concerns the relationship between unity and diversity in the world. This issue has puzzled philosophers for centuries, but Christianity provides a unique answer through the doctrine of the Trinity, God is in one essence and three in persons, offering a model that accounts for both unity and diversity that we observe in creation. This concept is difficult to reconcile in other worldviews, which either emphasize unity at the expense of diversity or fail to account for the interconnectedness of all things. Another significant defense of tag is the argument for epistemological certainty. Non-Christian worldviews often struggle to provide a firm foundation for knowledge, leading to skepticism or relativism without an absolute unchanging standard, such as God. Knowledge becomes uncertain and subject to personal or cultural biases. Christianity, however, offers a clear and reliable foundation for knowledge grounded in God's revelation. Additionally, atheistic and naturalistic worldviews cannot adequately explain the preconditions of intelligibility, such as the immaterial, universal, and necessary nature of logical laws. These preconditions are fully accounted for within the Christian worldview, which sees them as reflections of God's nature and character. The transcendental argument for God is a powerful tool for demonstrating the necessity of the Christian God for intelligibility. It posits that human experience, including logic, morality, and science, presupposes certain necessary preconditions. Any worldview must account for these preconditions if it is to be considered coherent and rational. Non-theistic worldviews, however, fail 
to provide a significant grounding for these preconditions, leading to inconsistency, irrationality, and ultimately self-refutation. For example, without a transcendent foundation, the laws of logic become mere human conventions and moral values become subjective preferences. The Christian theistic worldview uniquely accounts for these necessary preconditions, making it the only viable explanation for the intelligibility of human experience. The Christian theistic worldview uniquely accounts for these necessary preconditions, making it the only viable explanation for the intelligibility of human experience. The loss of logic, the existence of moral absolutes, and the uniformity of nature are all grounded in the nature and character of God. Thus, the tag concludes that the Christian God exists as a necessary foundation for the intelligibility of the world. This argument moves beyond mere theism and points specifically to the Christian God as the only adequate explanation for the preconditions of knowledge, morality, and scientific inquiry. Tag faces objections from skeptics who argue that it assumes what it seeks to prove, thereby engaging in circular reasoning. However, Presuppositionalists respond by explaining that TAG is a transcendental argument which seeks to establish that the existence of God is a necessary precondition for the very possibility of intelligibility. Without God, the foundations of rational discourse, such as logic and moral reasoning, are undermined, leaving atheistic or skeptical positions unable to account for the reliability of reason itself. This transcendental approach is not about proving God through traditional means, but about showing that God's existence is a necessary condition for making sense of anything at all. Furthermore, atheism and relativism are critiqued for their inability to provide a coherent explanation for the existence of objective truth. Atheism often leads to moral relativism, where truth and morality are seen as subjective or culturally dependent. This relativism, however, is self-refuting, as it fails to provide a stable foundation for truth claims. Presuppositionalism argues that only the Christian worldview, with its belief in a sovereign, unchanging God, offers a consistent and reliable basis for truth and morality by addressing these objections and highlighting the internal consistency of the Christian worldview. TAG reinforces the necessity of the Christian God for the intelligibility of human experience. The transcendental argument for God provides a robust defense of the Christian faith by demonstrating that the Christian God is the necessary foundation for intelligibility and human experience. This includes the realms of logic, morality, and science, all of which require a transcendent, consistent, universal foundation. Non-Christian worldviews, by contrast, fail to provide a coherent basis for these essential aspects of experience, leading to inconsistency, irrationality, and ultimate the collapse of rational discourse. TAG thus asserts that belief in the Christian God is not just one option among many, but is the only viable foundation for understanding the world. In summary, the Christian worldview is unique in its ability to consistently and comprehensively explain the nature of reality. It offers a coherent framework that accounts for the existence of objective truth moral values, and the orderliness of the universe. By contrast, competing worldviews fall short, either by denying these realities or by failing to provide a satisfactory explanation for them. TAG highlights the necessity of the Christian God for making sense of the world and invites us to recognize that without him, intelligibility itself would be impossible. This conclusion reinforces the central claim of presuppositional apologetics, that the Christian worldview is not only true, but is the only foundation upon which we can build a rational understanding of reality. 
The transcendental argument for God falls into a similar trap as Deckard's demon, a scenario where an evil demon could deceive us about the very nature of reality, making even our most basic perceptions and logical inferences unreliable. Deckard used his thought experiment to illustrate the profound skepticism that can arise when we question the reliability of our cognitive faculties. Tag, in its attempt to argue that God is the necessary precondition for the intelligibility of logic, morality, and science, runs into a vicious circle. It claims that without God, we cannot trust our reasoning or perceptions, yet it simultaneously uses those very faculties to argue for the existence of God. This creates a situation where Tag is assuming the conclusion that God exists and guarantees the reliability of our faculties in order to prove it. This circular reasoning echoes the problem Descartes encountered with his demon. If our reasoning is only trustworthy because of God's existence, but we need trustworthy reasoning to argue for God's existence, then we are caught in a loop where nothing can be established without presupposing the conclusion. Without an independent way to break out of the circle, Tag is unable to escape the kind of epistemological skepticism Deckert sought to overcome. This challenges the very foundation of the argument as it suggests that without first assuming God's existence, we cannot be sure of anything. This totally undermines the argument's effectiveness and leaves it vulnerable to the very doubt it seeks to resolve. Welcome to solipsism. Get wrecked, nerd. Got fucking dominated, dude. Absolutely dominated.